Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. So recently I published a video on how to get started as a programmer and in that video I go through how you can use tools like Stack Overflow Trends and Google Trends to kind of get an idea of what your market is like and see what languages and frameworks are popular in your country or job market. So I figured I could do a similar video where we go through the popular frameworks to learn uh, for 2022. So I've got my Google Trends uh, open here. And in terms of front-end frameworks, I'll compare React. So I've got React, Angular, uh, and Vue. That would be Vue.js. So with this three, uh, over the past year, uh, Angular has been uh, slightly more popular. However, uh, React kind of dominated towards the later parts of this year. And then let's see for over the past five years. Now, uh, what do we got? So, Angular has been like the leading front end framework in SA uh, for the past five years. So, most parts of the country, we've got uh, Angular, which is way more popular. Well, this is for over the past five years. However, for the past year, uh, React has kind of been picking up. Uh, let's select a custom date range. Let's go back maybe two years. Say from August 2019 to this year. So again, Angular has been uh, leading. Okay, then let's just put it, get it back to past five years. Now let's go worldwide and see what are the leading front-end frameworks globally. So globally, it seems like React is slightly above Angular, but yeah, that's really close. And as to parts of the world where these frameworks are popular, uh, the United States or the whole of Northern America, React is leading. And if we go to China, as you can see, Vue.js is leading there. So in SA, we've got Angular, which has been leading for the past five years. So I guess if I'm in the US, uh, React would be the framework to learn uh, for 2022. And China, obviously, Vue.js would be it. Uh, Russia, mm, uh, React as well. And then down here south in SA, uh, Angular, I guess, would be the way to go. But React seems to be catching on as well. And let's see, Nigeria, what do we have? So in Nigeria, React is leading and Angular coming in second. And then let's check Stack Overflow Trends. What do we have here? So React, Angular, and Vue.js. What do we got? So Stack Overflow, React.js is uh, by far the popular framework there in terms of tags and questions. And secondly, Angular, and third, of course, uh, Vue.js. So yeah, just uh, taking a look at this, I would say if I were based in SA, I would probably go for Angular. And yeah, I would probably go for Angular. Perhaps I'd have a much better chance of landing a job with Angular versus compared to React, although uh, React is kind of picking up in some parts of the country. But yeah, if I was in SA, I'd probably say Angular would be my best bet and React in some parts of the country as well. Uh, let's check India. Hmm. So Angular has been dominating. So most parts of India, uh, Angular is way popular there. Uh, you guys let me know if actually this is the case and if maybe there are certain parts where React is more popular than other parts. So just let me know if this data actually truly reflects your part of the world. So you've got some states in India where React is way more popular versus others. But yeah, for the most part, uh, I think Angular is also a good uh, framework to pick up. Uh, let's check Germany. So Germany, over the past five years, Angular has been dominating as well. Uh, let's see, for the past year, Yeah, for the past year, React is kind of picking up. So it seems like for most places, uh, for the past five years, Angular has been kind of leading, but React is starting to uh, slightly pick up in most parts. Let me just do the same for India as well, do like a 12-month period. 
Yeah, so as you can see, like uh, for the past five years, Angular has been leading way more. But if you look at it for uh, past 12 months, then React is kind of picking up in popularity as well. Yeah, yeah. So whereas the, the graph here was completely red for Angular at the beginning, uh, for five years, over 12, over 12 month period, you've got more blue. Hmm. Uh, let me do the same for SA and C. If there's any slightly slight difference for 12 months. Hmm. Yeah, so the data seems to be completely different for 12 months versus five years. So if I go five years, I've got more red, but over the past year, then uh, it's more blue. So let me see how about the two year period. I think I did this already. Okay, but let's just go back to 2019. Uh, let's see how the data is looking. So Angular is still dominating. So over the past two years, uh, Angular has been dominating, let's see, India. Yeah, so it seems like Angular, I mean, React has been picking up for the past 12 months, but overall, Angular is kind of leading in most parts. And the US, of course, uh, React is way more popular there. Yeah, way more. Got a lot of blue states. Yeah, so it seems most parts of the world, uh, you've got React, which has been leading uh, for the past five years. Slightly though, slightly, and and it depends on where you are. So most parts of the northern, of Northern America, uh, you've got React, which is way popular as compared to Southern America, and then China, of course, you've got Vue.js, and then uh, Southern Africa, you've got Angular, which is dominating, and for the most part, React seems to be leading globally though. Yeah, so I'd say React and Angular, depending on where you are your best bets for 2022 and if perhaps you're deciding to relocate to china i would suggest picking up Vue.js 